Hello all and welcome back. You are watching Arts and Nails Neology by Lipanita and this is me Lipanita, your nail art girl and your guide to anything related to nail polish and nail art. So today I am going to do a quick review and haul video of my latest buys. I bought nail polishes from Miniso India. So I went to the Miniso store in Delhi and I found nail polishes over there and I was so excited because I didn't expect to find nail polishes in that place. So as soon as I saw them, I picked up 5 nail polishes for myself from there because I wanted to review it for you guys so that you guys know whether to spend your hard earned money on these things or not. And you guys know how much I get excited whenever I see nail polishes. So without any further blabbering, let's get on to the video. But before that, please subscribe. So in the Miniso Delhi shop, I found nail polishes from Miniso brand and there were lots of colors from pastel, dark polishes, glitters and all those stuff. So I picked up five. I got three of these are uh, normal polishes and one matte and one glitter polish to represent all that was present over there so that my review is not biased and is completely balanced. So I got these five shades it was difficult to choose from but i also wanted to buy those colors which i already don't have so that i don't end up wasting my money so i got these five polishes it was difficult to choose so right now i'm going to take you through a quick swatch of all these polishes and come back with the review right after that <music> So back after the swatches with the honest, in-depth and detailed review. Hope you guys excuse my really tiny nails, I broke them but anyhow I had to make this video so I couldn't help it. So I'll talk about the shape of the bottle first. I'll give a zoomed in image as well. So you can see it has a rectangular glass bottle with a matte black plastic cap. And in front is written Pitura nail polish French formula net content of 9 ml so that this bottle's got 9 ml of product and a miniso sticker is pasted on the body this was not there when these were on the shelf they just stack it up before they were packing for me so at the back it's written miniso and also the shade number and shade name it's also written in the top of the cap and what else is written the knit content is 9 ml french formula providing high shine and luxurious wear usage check well before use as is normal with any nail paint and best use before 24 months so it's got a shelf life of two years and the manufacturing date is written right at the base what else is written the customer care and all the manufacturer details is written over there 
and the price of this nail paint is 90 each now let's take a good look inside i'm going to smell this it smells like any other nail polish that same chemical is smell now let's talk about the brush the brush width is quite perfect as you have seen in my swatches already or if you have missed it i'm going to show you once again that the brush width is really nice it's perfect for the shape of my nails it glides on smoothly and covers the whole nail in a couple of swipes only and the consistency of this nail paints is really great i mean they're not really thick not gloopy not clumpy and also they are not like watery thin and spreading everywhere so the consistency is just perfect it glides on smoothly so that's a plus point of this nail paints i really love this so in the fresh condition these are not clumpy or gloopy but i don't know what will happen after a few months so i cannot really talk about that now the most asked query would be longevity so i took a wet test i wore it for some time and without base coat and without top coat I wore the nail paints and they lasted me for about one and a half weeks which is kind of great given the fact that I wash clothes, wash utensils and do all types of coats and even without base coat and top coat they kind of lasted for one and a half weeks with a little bit of chipping so longevity factor is good over there, it's satisfactory but the matte nail polish is not at all satisfactory the staying power, the longevity of that is really good as well but the matte effect it fades after a couple of days and i don't know why would i pay money for a matte nail paint that turns out to be normal nail paint after a couple of days so that's really thumbs down with respect to that one and about this glitter polish there's really nothing to say about the glitter polish because it is like any other glitter polish it is difficult to remove compared to the others and the glitter particles tend to stick on the nail beds uh, really much and the longevity is like the others only only it's a uh, bit more sticky i mean it lasts a little bit more than the rest and to talk about the number of coats required these all of these polishes are two coaters one coat will not give you a proper opaque finish although the matte one will give you a kind of opaque finish in one coat but it takes a little time to get matte i mean i have tried two lines nail trend nail polishes and i've also tried matte nail polishes from other local brands compared to that it takes a little bit more time to get dried and uh, the rest of the polishes will dry within about five minutes so it's moderately fast drying no issues on that and also for the time being i wore it after removal i did not find any staining so that is also one plus point for these nail paints so overall they there are mostly the plus points from the longevity to the consistency to the brush width and the quantity also the fact that it doesn't stain nails and all these things are really the thumbs of point or the pros of these nail paints so if you're considering all these things then you can go ahead and buy these nail paints the price factor of rupees 90 is obviously quite relative because for some it might be expensive for a little bottle of nail polish and for some it might be just nominal or reasonable so for me i don't really buy much expensive polishes I do not really cross the 50th mark often so these are really a little bit more expensive for me but if you're someone who is accustomed to buying nail polishes for 150 200 all this in, in this price range then these are really good for you but one complaint I have about this and which is the only con only con that I found is they do not have any composition written on their bottle anywhere i did not find anything on the website as well there is no such product as nail polish on the website i couldn't find anything in google as well so that's a big con because when you're paying rupees 90 for a bottle of nail polish you want to know what's there inside it the chemical composition or whether these are quality free or not i do not know anything of this so if you're someone who is concerned about all these things then you should not consider buying this and this is also the same thing that i told about TS nail paints as well when I was reviewing them that they do not provide the composition I don't know why <coughs> these these are like branded nail paints and they ought to provide all these details because it's a matter of their brand name so 
yeah that's a con uh, according to me for this new thing so guys that was it for today's haul and review video hope you guys like this one and also mention whether you have these nail polishes or not and whether after watching this review you will consider buying these or not so i'll try to find more miniso stores in kolkata when i get there and i'll try to find out if there are any more interesting colors to buy and also i was checking google and youtube that miniso also has some peel off nail polishes so it will be really cool if i can find this and obviously i will review that for you guys as well so that's it for today's video please do subscribe to my channel and help me reach more and more milestones soon and uh, yeah like this video share this with your friends share this with your polish crazy polish lover friends anyone you like and i'll see you super soon with one more video bye bye